so hello everyone and welcome back this is the video you've been probably waiting for uh, the second video of the candle counting mastery series in which we will be dealing with intraday scalping and basically day trading and how do I pair candle counting concepts with ICT concepts on basically a day trading basis right so first of all I would like to apologize for the delay uh, with the video but I went some through some health issues and family issues which prevented me from recording and I just couldn't do it but now here I am I'm back and here's the video right so we have many things to deal with so I will start off with today's positions right I have currently two running positions and I took a loss earlier today it was less than one hour loss but it's fine and now i have these two positions running and first of all euro dollar um we have the our model playing out which i will not explicitly share with you but you can basically reverse engineer my charts and you will get it it's really simple and it's effective really effective right so we have this position running right i closed most of it down here all right down this low after it was taken i closed like eight lots of a total of 10 lot position i closed them there i'm just leaving it run this is probably gonna be inducement we will see but i have a trailing stop loss somewhere here i guess so i'm covered risk free and the position is gone it's pretty gone pretty good all right so we have this one here this was my entry right this here i entered fair value gap right shift shift right here so you know it's probably going to be reversing we have a turtle soup scenario here all right market is a bit consolidating inside here grabs liquidity and reverses right and this is inducement also this whole thing is inducement right you know that um smart money traders and basically traders will try to re-enter either of a break of this range breakout traders will try to look for a breakout and move above or whatever and all smart money traders will try to re-enter of this fair bell gap see this strong displacement and trade of this but this is just inducement right you know it, it's kind of weak all right the reaction is weak compared to this one which is a strong reaction right and from this how do i know that this will not be broken again all right i took a loss earlier today um here all right i did not um get my stop loss to break even i entered from this one here i think yeah i entered from this one here and i just this was at 13 so i know it would have been preserved right but it didn't it, took, it was taken here and my target was just down there so all right so back at it here um mm -mm -mm. starting to count from here up there all right why because this is one this is can be seen as a range this can be seen as a range and i would like to count from this range to this all right and see this as algo algorithmic delivery up to this high to allow smart money to take this high liquidity and all this stuff here just grab it all right and as we mentioned in the first video we know that candle counting and basically these um sequences are algorithmic footprints all right so basically what i did i just started counting from this swing low one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven 12 and 13 and we have the high and i know that this high is covered i know it because it's 13 as 7 as 21 there is a logic behind it that 7 13 and 21 create long-term highs long-term swing points all right there's a logic behind it and you can see it right it either creates intermediate term high and lows or long-term highs and lows right if it works and if applied correctly obviously paired with liquidity in this case then what i did i just spotted the fair value gap here 
extended this also here i know that it doesn't want to go above this no it wants to go above this just to be more covered i just put it there created stop loss and just melted it just uh, absolutely melted and you probably can get more candle counting you know algorithmic footprints as we have this bearish flow here right we can try to do it right now if you want to show it live you know so you just know that i'm not cherry picking this because i just count everything and whatever so we had this high here right how do we know that this is protected all right we know so one this would not count as this is um distortion two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve and thirteen right 13 so we know that this is our next swing this is our next swing and which in we know for sure basically you know it's it's just like that you know then from here we can keep on counting and counting and this is what we will get all right you you may not get it perfect all right you may get maybe um one candle off two candles off but that is not the point right you we are not looking for perfection we are not looking for the best of the best result like to the pip entries we do not care about this this is precise enough this is precise enough probably you could have entered here too all right enter where retail stop loss um retail holders are sitting this would have been damn perfect but i would as i took a loss earlier right here i just wanted to see um a good reaction of it so this is basically it, right? This is our currently running euro dollar position. This is probably induced. And yeah, um, this is it. We can, it, it's basically really simple. It's this, right? I will, I'm not doing crazy stuff or just adding and mathematically just calculating this swing from this swing and just multiplying it by seven and dividing. No, no, it's not that. I, not doing that as you can see i could have easily taken this position without candle counting easily candle counting is not the cause of the position all right but it, it is a confluence it's telling me yes you can enter safely this is protected this is a key swing first video candle counting 7 13 21 key swings 4 and 5 rebalancing sequences then there are many many other sequences that i do not know that um, the public does not know but i do not care about those as i just use this i just use this i know that this is protected this could have been also seven all right this could have been 21 i know it's protected if it's not if it's le let's say um 16 then i would like to see maybe some other candles just break it and just enter either the f idea fails either just entering another accumulation uh phase all right so this is it. Um, MetaTrader executed. And I will just post the picture later on, I feel, as I close the full position. All right. Then we have this one here. Gold. Right here. This one was closed. Right here. I can get you the execution. All right. From down here to here i can also show it there here sorry uh, yeah here 1400 right so how this position was matched this is the same basically biased position of the euro dollar position right and we have the same thing basically all right we have this range we have an accumulation another reaccumulation here this is my model but it's not just this you can have endless accumulations if you don't know the time factor if you don't use the time factor then then we have this which is a 13 and it just absolutely melted right i combined it with this breaker here and it just it you know it just this i know that this one is protected and this one is a key swing and this one will lead into expansion i know it i it just this you know and it's an algorithmic footprint i do not know why 7 13 21 but i know that it works and that's all i need to know right
So moving on to the third position, I will just transition from one another to not lose time. This is a pretty iconic, I guess, position, as it proved on Twitter that candle counting works. It's not bullshit. It's real. It's algorithmic, and it just repeats itself, and it's fractal, right? Unfortunately, I can't move to the one minute chart, which has all the best annotations, right? These are these are one minute annotations moved to the two minutes chart. I cannot explain it the best way possible, but it just shows you how do I measure swing points as I scalp intraday, right? These are mostly useless. I would not use them unless I open positions with them. So unless I execute this retracement th until this, then this, then that, I do not do that. I have one position, one shot, one kill from entry to take profit. I do not um, pyramid my trades often. So most important thing, this area right here, all right, has confluence, five minute chart. I will not move because I might just destroy the whole thing, but you can verify it yourself. But 7.13 on five minute chart, and it just overlaps with the one minute. All right, we have this consolidation here. What does consolidation do? Consolidation leads to what? Expansion, so consolidation. Then we have this one here, manipulation, this small right manipulation. This is basically the fractality of ICT concepts and fractality of the markets, right? This signature can happen on the daily time frame, and it can be the same as this one here on the one minute chart. So manipulation here, selling. Why am I selling? Because I know that this whole thing is protected and this whole thing is forming a key swing point. Why? Because we have two sequences overlapping, five minute sequence, one minute sequence and probably other sequence overlapping too. So if I have a lot of confluence around this area, I know it's protected, I know it's valid, right? I know it's algorithmic, algorithmic, and I am in sync with the markets and I can execute off the markets. If I'm not in sync with the markets, if I am not in sync with my candle counting, I might not execute the position, right? Because candle counting gives me that confidence that the I am working alongside with the algorithm and I can execute of the algorithm, right? This is very important to note, right? If you're not in sync, probabilities are less, right? And you will probably find that in your past trades, if you already trade, you will probably find that many times you are unconsciously in sync with the markets, right? That just happens. That is why it delivers. So why did I enter here? Why we have this manipulation and all I wanted to see is just it drop. Right? This is a seven. I enter. I didn't enter this. I, I entered this. Right, this seventh candle. I just plugged in the market order and just got in because I was confident about it. Power of three. Right, this was the Judas swing. This was the manipulation. Now what we're seeing? Expansion. Expansion. What then we have? Retracement. We are repricing. We are repricing to what? Remember, 50% of, of a range is very important. You're pricing around the 50% of the range because 50% is where orders are accumulated, right? So we, we have what? From seven, then we have 21. This is the same color uh, with purpose to help you identify the whole sequences overlapping. 721, we know that this is bottom. Or as you can see, this is not perfect. It's not this all right but i know i know for sure that from here this will be a swing it is a swing indeed all right Re remember three candle formation this is a swing and i know it's valid all right i could have probably entered i don't know along here because i know this is a swing this is a swing this will not be broken down by this candle this candle will not break it right so i know that the Retracement is starting here because this 21, this swing here is proving me, is telling me, look, 
we have a local bottom. We have an intermediate term high, short term high, low, whatever. I, I'd call it intermediate term low. So I know it's about to reprice higher. And it does, right? It starts a new sequence. So this one becomes my new one. A new sequence starts here. One. Until what? Another 13. 13. This one measures this high here. And I know it's protected. I know it's a swing. And I know that what? This will not be broken by the next candle. And in fact, it does not. Right? It just melts. This signs another change in delivery. Right? It's not the change in state of delivery, or change of character thing. I just use it to explain it better. Right? Then, what we have? We melt until what? This starts a new sequence. This is a swing. New sequence. One. Then we have what? Seven. Seven. All right. Important one. Seven. 13. 21. This starts a retrace. This is a swing. The next candle won't bro break it. Start a retracement. To what? Mitigate this closes here. What happens? We have this. Key swing. All right. We measure it. One. Then what? We see it melt down. This is a bit choppy. So it will be kind of distorted in this area. You don't expect like extreme precision. But we get this. We get this. We have 13 here. 13. Swing will not be broken anytime soon. And in fact what does happen? It does melt. We have this low local button. Here we start a new sequence. One. We have what? 13 here. This is a whole bit of price right 13 this will not be broken anytime soon and in fact it does not and it respects the previous sequences too it respects that this should not be broken anytime soon that this should not be broken anytime soon this and this this is whole bearish flow and we see that it respects candle counting all right this candle counting will help you in determining when will swings or swing points form all right you can predict this, you can predict this, this is not hindsight, this is done live as candles were printing. Right? Retrace now, why? Because I know that this will retrace, why? 7, right? This is hold on live. Then what? We have this 21 here. This is not a swing, right? but it just signals that. This expansion here is coming and we have this local bottom, we start a new sequence for retracement, 7. We fill this and we just melt into the daily close, right? This is the position explained. I take profit, but I, I think I closed it somewhere here. Right? I don't want to hold it. Is it not know the next day where it will open, right? This is the position broken down and this is it. Basically, how do I use it? This is the position. This is the position for you to understand how candle counting works. And how do I apply it? This is it. All right. And you can see as it respects the flow. Right. It might not respect these local lows here. But why? Because this is whole bearish flow. You're expecting these candles. Right. 13, 7, 1, 13, 13, 7, 21. To hold. To hold and to not be. This can be helpful with pyramiding trade if you do pyramiding trade this is the way to do it right and this is the way to also trail your stop loss too just open your charts and do it you will see it you will see that it happens it happens and if you are not in sync if you can get it right then it just you're not in sync with the market and either you catch up either you just witness price right? because there are other sequences this does not happen every time. It's not like 7, 13, and 21 are endless and whatever. There are other sequences that happen. We do not know about them. You might discover it good. Um, but it's just it. You just, if you're not in sync, just look at it and leave it there, right? This was the third position explained. So, what we have here Euro dollar, back at it. And these are two positions executed live. On MetaTrader, you know, you can get proof of this being live and not hindsight or whatever in the Telegram, which is linked in the video description. 
and we can go through them, right? So, yeah, London kill zone. <coughs> Sorry, London kill zone. This we have our model performing. Right. Signature number one, signature number two. And after these two signatures happen, and after I have time confluence, right here, I cannot say what this is, right? But as I have this confluence, that price met time here, I hunt for what? Longs. Why? Because we took um, liquidity below south side. Right? We accumulated all this down here. Right? Accumulated here from this hunt, here from this hunt, and now we can hunt higher to offload the positions. Right? What we have here. Let's just remove this from right here. Right? Cool. What? Then, here, fair value gap. Alright? Fair value gap, and this is my go to. This is my go to. We have a market structure shift. We know that it's shifting. We know that we accumulated orders, and we know that we are right in time. This is just a matter of executing, of getting the PDRA and executing. Drawdown is okay. I will not get the perfect entry. I will not, and it's fine. It's fine as long as the position reached either break even. Or take profit. Stop loss is fine too, obviously, but we aim at take profit, obviously. Okay, cool. Then, so I know for sure this one is a failed one, but it's fine. It's fine, all right. It it didn't fail like just nuke absolutely melt down and just destroy the position, all right? I measured it from. <clears throat> M1 and M3, we have two time frames conflu confluence here. M3, three minute time frame is important on euro dollar, I reckon, as it just it shows up pretty lot, a lot of stuff, all right, and it works with candle counting pretty well. So I wanted to enter at this fair value gap here. I did enter, and Sometimes you will find me collapsing trades early, you know, as I understand before it hits my stop loss, then I'm just wrong. Be it strong flow towards my st stop loss and just say, all right, it's really strong, it's going, it's moving and blah, 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 and I just collapse the trade early. Probably could have done that here, but why didn't I? Because it had this. This is a strong move down, all right, strong move down, and it can be... Um, scary to go long with this momentum to the downside. It can be scary. That is true, indeed. But it's just a matter of confidence. And why? The reason why I did not collapse the trade earlier because I said, "All right, let me wait for sevens, thirteen or twenty-one." All right. If I do not find seven, thirteen, and twenty-one as effective, you know, as key swings that will form and protect me. And reassure me and tell me, look, this is a key swing. This is formed at 7, 13, or 21. You have two time frame confluence. You can chill. You can chill, right? Position is going fine. Algorithmic, you're in sync with the algorithm, right? This did happen here. It happened here. And then just what? It started expanding higher. This is the proof of the bullish order flow going up. And bullish intentions. This is strong, strong, strong. But then what happened? It just melted down a bit. And just got this. But it was just a matter of holding the trade. Right? I would have never collapsed it here on this down move he movement here. Because I saw this intention here. And it, it was just a matter of confidence. Right? It was a matter of confidence. This might have been an... Induced low too, right? Might have been inducement, but it's fine as long as it holds this here. This is institutional. This is institutional. Mar um, you accumulate all this, and this is institutionally protected, and the algorithm will not seek this. It will not. Then it just what? Then it just expanded, 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 and you could have gotten this strong push here. We have this fair value gap there, and this is an M313 paired with what? 
with fair value gaps and some sort of um, breaker, which is not totally a breaker, but we see it as a breaker, as a confluence area alongside with candle counting. And what then it just induces this, it induces this, tricks probably some traders into thinking, I don't know, this is a double, a double top. This is the break that double top traders look for and it shows and just melts up. And it just forms the high at 17. It's not perfect here, perfectly here, but it's fine. It's 7 here. Right, this could have been a cool short scenario too, but I did not enter that. I was done with this. Done, right? Cool. This is it again. It's about knowing the key swings and how they will form and whatever, right? Moving on to the New York trade. This is a cool, pretty strong trade here. I close it early right, because I do not like to hold them too far in the day as I have stuff to do. I can monitor, mon monitor it live and such. We have this here. We have this hunt here, this gap here, this gap here, which I did execute off. Same, basically same concept of that before. And this is a extremely strong area, extremely strong. We have a whole lot of stuff. We have all the blocks, we have fair value gaps, we have a stop hunt here, all the accumulation here. And we have so much candle counting confluence here. We have um, 5 minutes 7, 4 minutes 7, 2 minutes 13, 1 minute 13. Only the 3 minute chart is missing. Only it. To make it the best area. You can just basically say, alright, you know what, I'm entering. You just know it. You know that this is protected. This is really protected. Right? And the way I see candle counting is, is also a way, you know, for algorithmic footprint. Yes. Um, mm -mm, to deliver orders and just help in hedging, help smart money with hedging their positions or offloading their positions. This is how I see it. I know that this is protected, right? Then what happens? Expands. Displacement. Fair value gap. Rebalancing sequence in play. You know, four rebalances and five leaves. We see it there. Once again, four rebalances and five leaves. We have this gap here, which is left and will be tagged perfectly here. Perfectly. Precision. This is precision. Don't you have this area being a seven? This area I did not count. Mm -mm -mm. We have this from here to here, seven. You, you, we know that since this is a seven, this is a swing. This will start what? Some sort of either retracement or expansion. It forms a retracement up here. Four rebalances and five leaves. This is another time frame. Probably four rebalances and five leaves. Rebalances what? Rebalances the five value gap and we can expect what? Retracement down there. It does it here. Then what? Expands and it just strong expansion to the upside. Bullish breaker here. Respects it perfectly. This is beautiful price action this one here should have not been violated and just 13 here we know it's protected and it just can squeeze higher and this whole position was delivered within an hourly seven this is a hourly seven starting from 2 p.m until 3 p.m this is a hourly seven and a 13 minute 13 so we can even predict in how much time it will deliver proof of this is also on the telegram channel and yeah this is this is the position you can as you can see these are basically position repeating themselves with the same concept with the same idea behind it i think i will cut the video earlier than i thought i would because it's just becoming long and these positions are very self-explanatory and yeah, there, that's it basically, that's it. Moving on to the next position. So I will close the video with these 
two positions right here. We have this one, which is a loss, right? I take losses too. I take many losses in reality. And it just, I got just chopped out and yeah, just bad price action. But we see as it respected um, PD arrays and candle counting too. This is the idea behind it. SMT forming here. All right. This is um, also an M pattern, right? Failed to swing higher, SMT uh, with GBP USD. And we have this being a 7 and a 13. So we have this as a huge confluence area, which marks out as this SMT will be high probability and is high probability. Why? Because as we said before, 7 and 13 are key swings and are protected unprotected are algorithmic footprints and are protected this is protected and if this is protected this proves the smt right then what happens four will tap and start the expansion i typed live with the trade and indeed it does it taps four and just leaves it just leaves this is an order block right here i, I took this not this whole thing mm -mm -mm. all right so for taps and it just leaves and we have the position just running and chopping like crazy until it stops me out I did not take partials on this one I just let it run because I um, saw the potential of the position we have seven as the key swing so I know this will be protected and in fact it is and obviously it stops me out but it is protected and it expands of it again right then you have seven mark and 13 here marking the start of the retracement towards this all right and it just this it just consolidates inside of this breaker taps another time on this fair value gap right four as a rebalancing sequence from <coughs> where was it probably was a different time frame and oh, didn't want to move that and then you can see as it just these swings even in choppy in second destroy scenarios form at 7 13 and 21 all right then it just simply does not respect the arrays it respects some it avoids others and it just goes towards my stop loss but later in the day just after news release we have this beautiful position here which i didn't did not annotate purposely i want you to do that i already told it on twitter and I will tell you here too. I want you to annotate this position. You can see algorithmic footprint on this one too. And this is on MetaTrader. I closed it early because as I said before, I do not want to leave them running too far in the day for me. I did not leave it running, but it was a 12 R. It was a 10 last position, $500 risk on the 50k account obviously and yeah i executed off this top here and there's there is a clean logic behind this execution here which i asked you to try and investigate on and yeah i will not disclose it publicly uh, but it's basically the time aspect of our model Right. It is the time of aspect. Obviously, our model does not apply only during London. Uh, it's you can get it here too. This is yeah, it's a turtle soup scenario. It is, but it's also something else that allowed this execution right here. Right? Cool. So I promise you, last thing before I close the video is that i'm reopening the private channel for those of you who want you can dm me on telegram i'm vibing it's written down below there and i will leave the arbitrum link in the description which is a telegram bot that will allow you to subscribe to the channel you will pay one month um but we'll get two months of membership for 50 dollars Alright, it is a way of supporting me, it is a way of supporting my work and also reviving the candle counting community which is a bit dead, I'd say, um, as the hype really 
dried and died, right? It is also a way of establishing a more forward and face-to-face, -face, maybe contact with me. We will do um, Zoom sessions in which I will answer your questions regarding the whole trading world, regarding psychology. I will share with you my model. I will share signals when I feel like it, but these will be really quick and fast forward as I do um, scalping. And uh, when I will leave school, finish school, we will do live sessions together. And it's basically creating a deeper community, a more uh, closed circle of people, right? To basically develop trading. It's a circle of, it's basically surrounding yourself with people with winning mindset, right? No toxicity, no negativity. It's just people with a winning mindset wanting to win and have achieved success, achieve freedom and just leave all the bad stuff behind. All right. If you are interested, make sure to DM me on Telegram or directly click that click at the link. You will receive the Telegram channel in private after subscribing for it. Mm -mm -mm. I'm looking forward to seeing you in and uh, we have big things coming forward and in the near future. Uh, and I want you to be part of these big things. I want you to be successful and achieve success. Always remember that candle counting is not mandatory, is not um, needed to achieve trading success, but it is, it is a big confluence to your trading, to your positions and to your precision. It is a matter of precision. All right, closing the video. This is the last one regarding, regarding candle counting that I published. I will publish freely on YouTube. So it's just a big thank you for the support. Thank you for everything and just hope to see you soon in the Telegram chat. And yeah, thank you everyone. And yeah, have a nice one. Good luck and good trading.